GatoraCoach.com. Stereoscopic 3D surgical videos. Do these 3D videos substantially add to your video learning experience? And today we have a routine case by Dr. Mohammed Sayed, who's in Dubai now, who's previously in Florida at Baskin Palmer in prior practice as well. And you can see he's marking off here to do a toric lens case. Now to watch this 3D video, you've got to get a separate image to each of your eyes. And of course, the easiest way to do that is with a VR headset or virtual reality headset, where you basically have a separate image to each eye by wearing these large goggles on your face. You can certainly see a 3D uh, view that way. Other options are you can actually just cross your eyes and get at the appropriate uh, distance, and you can basically see 3D just without anything. But that's hard to do, and a lot of people are unable to do it. Sometimes you feel strained. I get it. You can also use a special television, right? The old 3D TVs that used to be so common. You used to go to your big electronics store, go down to Costco, and they always had all these 3D TVs, right? That was about 10 years ago. And you'd wear polarized glasses typically, and that allowed each eye to get a different image, slightly different image for each eye, because, of course, that's the basis for having three dimensions or 3D view. The other way was alternating fast shutters, and those proved to be less uh, popular in the markets. But now if you go to these big stores, go back to Costco or go back to uh, Best Buy or your electronics store, guess what? No one sells 3D TVs anymore. So at home at least, and even in the movie theaters, 3D was kind of a, f a phase. And it's not so popular anymore, and even when I watch a TV show or a movie at home, I'm not watching in 3D because I get the, enough of the experience out of two dimensions. And the question is, is there enough extra benefit of 3D to make it worth the extra work? So when you're watching this video, if you are wearing 3D headsets, you can obviously see the whole three-dimensionality of it. You can see the nucleus is still in the bag. You can see the AC depth there's reasonable, probably three millimeters or so. And the technique here is great. Dr. Sayed's a fantastic surgeon. And, you know, we started using 3D viewing systems for ocular surgery more than 10 years ago. The original 3D systems, there was the True Vision, 3D viewing systems. There were all kinds of companies that were making these products, and they got better and better with time. And now we're at a point where major companies like Alcon and Zeiss and Leica and other companies are going to come out or have already come out with 3D viewing systems. These days, based on 4K cameras, and, of course, big screen televisions that use polarized glasses. Now, in the operating room, there may be some benefit for ergonomics in order to see the video or see your operating field without having to tilt your head or neck over a microscope, and I understand that. So there may be an upside there. Maybe more so in longer retina surgeries. We featured videos here on Cataract Coach where patients had uh, problems even lying supine and you had to position the microscope at a very odd angle that made looking through the oculars almost impossible. In a case like that, I think I agree with you that there's an upside or benefit to using it in the operating room. But my question is, is there a benefit to using it here to, on teaching videos? And there I'm not so sure. So the question is how many people in the, our, our audience of 40,000 plus subscribers are actually using a 3D video headset, or virtual reality headset to watch these videos. And if you are, does it add a significant amount to your learning experience? I can tell you from the data that I have, most of our viewers are watching these videos from a mobile device, either a mobile phone or cell phone or an iPad or similar type tablet. A smaller number are watching it on uh, devices such as laptops or desktop computers. And I don't have the data for 3D viewing systems. There are some existing very nice 3D videos on YouTube right now by some fantastic surgeons. And there are some by uh, Dr. Neto Rossitelli from Brazil. He has some beautiful videos. Dr. Lukan Mishev, fantastic surgeon who does both anterior segment and posterior segment, he has a tremendous number of videos. He's been even a pioneer in this in using the 3D systems to create his own filters to improve visualization during surgery. And he's even fitted higher resolution cameras than the 4K cameras to have even better image quality. But the question is for you in the audience to watch a learning video, 
is it helpful to have 3D? And I'm not sure it is. And based upon the viewership now where most people are just watching this on their mobile phone, they're not spending the extra time to go there and use a VR headset. So in that regard, I think we're going to stick with 2D videos for most of our cases here. I'm happy to showcase every once in a while a 3D video like this. But uh, we'll look at the st statistics afterwards. I bet you a video like this will get substantially fewer views than the 2D, vi 2D videos that we normally feature. So again, our pur purpose of showing you the videos is to get a point across. And that's the beauty of the Cat or Coach videos, right? A new video every day, just about five minutes or so, and something useful that comes out of it. So I'd be interested to hear your comments in the section below. Leave a comment and tell me, do you think it's worth us posting 3D videos? I definitely have access to this technology in our operating rooms, and there may be an upside, like I said, in using it during the surgery. But is there an upside in showing you the 3D video after the surgery? So let me know in the comments below. And as usual, thank you for watching cataractcoach.com.